There are people who work in the divorce world as psychologists, lawyers, and they refer to a high conflict divorce as one in which there are pervasive negative exchanges in a hostile environment uh, where the conflict is the destination, so to speak. Like the conflict doesn't go anywhere. There's no movement. Uh, and about a quarter of American divorces each year could be categorized as high conflict. So that's like 200,000 divorces. So um, it turns out that there is there are also high conflict politics, high conflict companies, high conflict people. So I think it's a useful way to understand this uh, special category of conflict in which um, there is not progress, right? Where you're just kind of stuck. And um, it, is, it is something you really, <laughs> there's a distinct difference between good conflict and high conflict. So um, I think it helps, for me, it helped me get out of the mindset of um, the sort of narrowing confines of the idea that we either have to have, you know, bipartisan unity or be at each other's throats. Like those are not, <laughs> those are not the only two choices, um, just like in a marriage, you don't have to get along all the time. Uh, and you also don't have to, you know, you know, verbally, emotionally, or physically abuse each other, right? There's, there's a, there's a lot of space in, in between that.